So in this video, we're going to be giving you guys three reasons why your hips aren't getting any wider. And it's not just the only three reasons in the world. I'm sure there are loads of reasons out there, but we're just picking on three. Yeah. So a lot of you guys have gotten to our channel by watching our wider hip workout and um, cheese transformation. So um, lots of you guys obviously have been doing the workout and we've had mixed results. So some people have messaged us on Instagram in it with pictures and said, look, before and after pictures, um, it works. Yeah. And we've had people on the, in the comment section say it works and um, lots of positive feedback across the board. But then at the same time, there's loads of people that are saying, um, I've done it for a month, I'm not seeing that much of a difference or um, should, I, should I do this workout every week and stuff? Some people are not really sure about um, how to go about getting wide the hip, so we're gonna give you three important reasons. So what's the first reason, Chi? So the first reason is unfortunately unrealistic goals. Mm. So what you guys would see is, for example, you know, clickbait. You mm. click on a video, you're thinking, oh my God, that's a real transformation. Mm. You're like, no, it's not, it's, it's Photoshop. Not. Mm. So the main, um, I would say, important thing to realize is everyone has a body, a baseline body type. Excellent. Oh, I said mm. that right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's good. So we have a video, I'm sure you can click on it somewhere, and it'll help you figure out what type you just keep going, no, I'm just showing the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, it'll help you figure out what body type you are and then you can see whether it's realistic to be hourglass or if you're just being like playing mm. crazy out there thinking that. So, yeah, I'm going to build yeah. upon this point. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's a, a very good point. Like your baseline body type will determine how, how crazy um, of a gradient you have between yeah. your waist and your hips in general. So, Chi, yeah. building upon this point, like we've got lots of people that watch our video that um, they're they're not they haven't gone through puberty. So, like some people yeah. are 11 years old, as young as 11, yeah. crazy, isn't it? Some people 15, 16, 17, and they want to know, obviously, how can they get the best results? What do you, okay. what advice do you give them? Well, when I was 13 years old, and I'm sure Edward's gonna find a picture of me and put yeah. it up there. He'll be here. Don't take the mic, guys. <laughs> but yeah. like when I was 13, 14, I'm telling you. I was straight, I was straight, uh, and there were no hips, and mm. um, you couldn't really tell any difference between my hips and my shoulders. The bone structure was very much the same. I mm. walked in a straight line. <laughs> it's only yeah. when I got a little bit older, puberty hit and everything, I started seeing myself like, hey, what are these curves, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and getting used to them, but there's no reason why you should start telling yourself. I'm going to start mm. working out to get hips and I'm 13, mm. 14 years old, even 15. You're not going to see any difference. I'd right? say when mm. you're 18 years old, yeah. 19, you'll mm. see that, you know, okay, fine. If I'm doing this just for my aesthetics, mm. then I can start training. But if you're 13, I think just do fitness for fun, for, for yeah, keeping for fit. Yeah, for health and, yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, don't do it because, mm. you know, you're trying to get an awesome body because... Mm. When you try to grow up before your time, it just, it's, it it there's no point. Work. Yeah, I didn't mm. wear makeup when I was 13. I don't know what you guys are doing if you're wearing makeup. Mm. I mean, you'll probably be pros because I'm rubbish at makeup anyway. Mm. But I'm just saying that there's certain things you don't have to worry about yeah. as, a, as a teenager. Exactly. Especially when your hormones aren't straight yet anyway. Exactly. So. so the first thing we're trying to tell you guys is if you're pre-puberty, um, you're not going to get the right results. It's unrealistic expectations to expect that you can look like she at your age now, if you're like obviously 13, she looked nothing like she does now. And um, when she began, she did have a gradient between her waist and her hips. She was still very skinny and it wasn't as curvy as it is now, but the foundation was there. So if you were to train, you can end up achieving good results, right? So we're going to put um, obviously the before and after picture. She was 52 kg to begin with. At the end, you got to what, how, how much were you at the end? 61? Yeah. It was 61 or something. Uh, so I thought I got to... But anyway, as we're saying, um, yeah, so if you're pre-puberty, rethink your goals. Maybe just take some time out and maybe set a target that maybe when I'm 18 or 19, I'll start training for aesthetics and um, improving my physique because then I'll know what I'm going to look like in general. Mm -hmm. If you're changing, you can't really obviously pick out a certain look your limbs change how much fat you've got in your face changes lots of things change in puberty i think the second reason why your hips aren't getting wider is because a lot of people are following um youtube workouts like it's, it's going crazy man so we, we see every day like every day without fail we see a new um hip workout on youtube how mm -hmm. many hip workouts have you made to you so far i've, I've made one one workout <laughs> like another workout we made uh, we called it smaller waist wider hips. wider hips people are saying can we stack this <clears> on top of the other one and get double the results 
what people don't understand is that smaller waist wide hip workout is actually a fat loss workout. Yes. Because what did you do? You regained bare muscle, innit? Exactly. Okay, we say, uh, keep the English proper. Mm. We, we gained lots of muscle, yeah. and then at the end, you had to do what? I had to do a cut. Yeah. So it's not like I just. Um, Use that workout this alone. Way and became mm. lean, so I'm telling you guys, you do gain and then cut. So yeah, yeah. Because when you gain muscle, um, if you've got a, a caloric surplus, sometimes you end up with a little bit extra fat gained. Um, it's natural. It's not too bad. You don't end up with like a ton extra fat. But um, obviously, if you want to get the you know the craziest of you know waist to hip ratio, like she got in the transformation, um, she had to cut a lot of the fat off her waist, right? And some of that fat came off her hips as well. But in, in a good ratio, um, because she built a lot of muscle on her lower body, it increased the ratio. So that, that workout is just primarily for fat loss, right? And, and to um, maintain the muscles, to engage the exactly, body muscles. Exactly, to engage muscles. the muscles. But so you don't lose all the muscles yeah. whilst you're trying to lose weight. Yeah, but the main point here is that we've only got one workout out, and that's because we want you guys to understand exactly how long it takes to build muscle. And um, yeah, if you keep watching YouTube videos and you're seeing a new workout come every day, and you keep switching routines, it's not going to work because you need to sometimes have some consistency in your workout so that your body can actually understand that th this trial, for instance, has X difficulty. And um, if you keep changing it, you're gonna keep on training a different proportion of muscles with different difficulties, and it's not gonna work out the best for you. Now, a lot of people in our video till this day ask you, Chi, how many times should you do the workout? Okay, so if you're trying to gain weight, mm. guys, if you're trying to gain muscle, mm. I, I mean, I always specify, I do each body type, I mean, parts on Yeah. I do each body part, like, separately. Mm. So I'll have maybe some engaging workouts that mm. involve different body parts, but I do them once a week. Once a week. So when I train, okay, we train hard. Yeah, we train so hard, man. It hurts for five days. I'm not going to try and do two, two yeah. a week. How's like, that going to make it? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> and if we try to do two a week, then yeah. we wouldn't have like a synchronized weekly pattern because I'll do it on a Monday. I'll be sore until Friday. So if I was to train on Saturday, even though I can fit in another workout in the week, <clears> then I won't be able to meet the, the next workout on the yeah, Monday, innit? Exactly. So it's just complicated. Just keep it once a week. It, it works. It does work. It takes a while to build muscle, but you can't train every day. So another point, yes. why do a lot of YouTubers want people to train every day? Um, Let's be real, <laughs> on YouTube, obviously, as you get to become a YouTube partner, you get paid to obviously promote different people, different advertisements on your channel. And um, YouTube pays people based on your watch time metrics, yeah? So um, in essence, the more views you have and the more times people watch your video, the more money you make. So you might see a lot of five minute workouts, seven minute workouts, they tell you to do every day. And that's the best strategy to go for if you're trying to make money. But at the same time, we, we want to keep it real with you guys. We haven't told you guys to watch our videos like every day, unless you need to really watch every day. So you've got to make sure that you guys understand about what muscle hypertrophy is and the science behind it, because it's, it's really simple. It's the same thing for guys and girls, right? You've got, you've got to have that kind of mindset. You can't expect to gain muscle in two weeks. If you see any video telling you that you're gonna change your body in two weeks time, you're not gonna get any results. I've been training my brother for like three weeks now. And even three weeks in, the results are very minimal. I can see the results, but if you were trying to be like, see light and day, you wouldn't see light and day because it hasn't been enough time, right? And that's just the way it is. So you've got yeah. to get used to that. So that is, that is gaining muscle. Basically. That is gaining muscle. Weight loss is different. If you were mm. to do a seven, 10 minute workout every single day, twice a day, three times a day, five times a day. That's even good. You can do it. You burn more calories, you can eat more. Yeah, yeah. it's a weight loss journey. Weight loss journey. Muscle gain, you're, you're capped. There's a limit. Yeah. And we'll actually put down some statistics of how much uh, muscle you should expect to gain. If you're gaining a pound of muscle in a month, that's a lot, I'm just telling you, like even if you're a guy. so. Be prepared to wait for longer if you want to get wider hips. Like, cool. Mm -hmm. Now, the final thing or the final reason why um, people's hips aren't getting wider cheap, who watch our video, what is that? Diet. Diet. Simple. Yeah, so we are on our weight gain journey mm. diet. And, um, okay, we've been doing the workouts and we did say we're going to show you guys weekly um, stuff. We'll talk to you about that at the end. What is the most important thing? Oh, if I'm gaining muscle and I don't eat more, Calories. I could, I could mm. be sorry if I don't eat more calories. Mm. I could be losing weight. I could be staying the same. Yeah. There's no way you're gonna get a juicier or whatever it is that you're trying to get. Yeah. <laughs> whatever part you're trying to get juicy, <laughs> you're not gonna get it if you don't add in, you know, those calories to calories has to facilitate up. the growth. Mm. Exactly. So you need to have a caloric surplus to um, 
make sure you get you, you build muscle in a reasonable time frame a lot of the people that said it, it hasn't worked for them when i asked them um obviously what is your tde just a simple question like that that's your maintenance calories how many calories that your body burns in a day they don't know and um, i think you need to know even if you don't count calories you need to know about what figure you should expect so you know exactly um how many how much you should be eating you need to be aware of that in a little way and also your protein intake you should be a little bit aware of how much protein you need to gain muscle so um i'll say a high figure is about a pound of protein per um no sorry a gram of protein per pound of body weight yeah. but that's i think that's too high like for me i wouldn't do that that would be 174 grams a day for me i normally keep it between 1.5 to 2 grams a kilogram yeah so 1.5 to 2 grams a kilogram and i think that's a decent amount but get the diet right if you don't get the diet right you're not going to see any change because it's been like four weeks since we started our weight gain journey we haven't been counting calories i haven't even been eating properly and i've gained i've lost weight actually i've lost two pounds which is okay because um it was two pounds of excess fat so i look a little bit leaner now and you've gained one pound i think so as you can see it's not like proper efficient we haven't been working in the best way so if you have been obviously doing these um mistakes or you haven't been paying attention to the different factors we've just mentioned to you in this video, make sure you actually pay attention to these and it can be the difference between reaching your goals or completely feeling demotivated and saying, you know what, nothing's going on. I'm not getting the results I want. So I think that's a wrap. Yeah. So thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. So this is going to be a new consistent video, three reasons why and then whatever topic we pick. Mm. Let us know in the comments below what you want us to choose. Thank you so much for watching and again, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Yep. Support us on Patreon as well. We've got a Patreon account um, if you guys want to check out how it links over there. Um, also follow us on Instagram. We haven't been active on Instagram, but we're going to be active soon. So stay tuned.